Hi there. So this week we released a new version of our Serial over IP application, and it's pretty cool because it now features wireless support, Wi-Fi. So uh, I basically wanted to give you a quick look at what it looks like inside because it's very neat and easy to work with as a developer, and also what your users are going to see. So uh, this is the application in Tibo IDE, and we're looking at a global TBH. And what I want to show you is how easy it is to debug. So you see there's a line here, that's line uh, 285, that's just uh, WLN, as in wireless LAN, debug print. And uh, it's uncommented now. And we're going to go into project settings and make sure we are actually using the debug version. And then we're just going to load it and run it on our target and see what it says. It's uploading. And there we go. Now you can see it actually synchronizing and the console says exactly what the device is doing. So it starts the Wi-Fi and there we go. So you can see exactly step by step. So we've got Ethernet connectivity. We've got a Wi-Fi association here. We can see exactly the network uh, uh, name. It's new router. That's the SSID. You can see it already has uh, WPA and WPA2. That's new to this version, by the way. And it knows the key and it is the correct key for this network. You get four handshake steps and you get Wi-Fi OK. And you can see uh, the IP address that it got for the Wi-Fi adapter. By the way, you're looking at two different networks here. This is one wired connection and this is the Wi-Fi. Of course, these are two different adapters. In this case, they're actually connected to two different networks. So they're not gonna work at the same time but it does work, as you can see, they both got IP addresses. So this is great as a developer because it really lets you look into what the device is doing and what are the steps of the connection. And now the way it looks like to a user, let's pop up DS Manager here. This is just DS Manager that you know from DS100 or whatever. And when we go into the settings, you now get a new tab called Wi-Fi. And you can see uh, it's enabled permanently. You can also go for on-demand. Permanently just means that it's always on. And as soon as you unplug the device from the Ethernet cable, it just instantly hops onto Wi-Fi. On-demand just boots Wi-Fi as needed and shuts Wi-Fi off again when you get a wired connection. And you can see everything here. You can see the uh, um, SSID and you can set the security type and you can set the password, etc. So it's really handy and really easy to work with, and uh, that's what it looks like. Thanks for watching.